Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Today I'm showing the 2007 Nissan Murano that just came in. It's got almost 88,000 kilometers on it, which is about 55,000 miles. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the uh, website right now will not be the final price when you get on a lot. Oh. And also, if you're um, just getting here or uh, you haven't come here yet, definitely stop by before you get your license. You don't need uh, that license to purchase a vehicle, okay? So definitely stop by as soon as you can. All right, so with that, let's go ahead and uh, take a look around. We'll show the features inside, but first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information. My video is going to answer a lot of your questions. So things like the uh, the warranty, the JCI, the road tax, I cover all that and more. So please bear with me until the end. You'll have all the answers. If not, go ahead and contact me or stop on by. This Nissan Murano is a five-passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, so the larger category. Road tax per year is going to be 19,000 yen, which is about 160 bucks right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we'll take care of it for you this year. You won't have to worry about it till next. Now you do have two options to pay for this. The first one being US dollars cash outright, uh, which could get you a larger discount. Or you can take advantage of 0% finance for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put some down and reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our companies do like 500 to 1,000. Some do even more. Before we go inside, I always like showing rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is give you a cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor as well. Let's uh, jump on in. Let's get this thing started. So it does have a key fob. Okay, so as long as it's on your person, you just go ahead and crank it over as if the key was in there. If this key fob battery dies, you can slide this over. This comes out as a regular key and you can put it right there in the ignition. Let's uh, turn off this radio. Sorry, Troy. All right, let's sneak this in there. Hopefully you get that. 87,719 on the odometer. Um, show you a couple of warning lights down there. The one all over to the left, obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And then the one to the right of that circular one is your emergency brake. It's not a low pressure tire gauge. I know it looks similar. But is it kick tight? So when you kick it, disengage, it goes away, kick it again, comes right back on. I never understand why my phone doesn't focus on that or unfocuses. Anyway, uh, other than that, just a very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. And they pops up on the dash while you're driving. Please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Okay? Uh, off to the left here, you do have your monitor. Uh, this one does have a rear camera. And then this button up here, the, the one all the way to the right, is a side camera. Okay? So you can park within an inch of the curb. All right? Then you have your radio controls, your um, air conditioning controls, your controls for the mirrors down here, a little pocket maybe for some coins underneath. You do have two uh, little compartments here, not sure what they're used for. Your shifter, cup holders, and then you have your center console slash armrest where you do have a button right here to push and it goes all the way down. All right. Continuing off to the left, you do have your glove box here. And then to the right of the glove box, you have a power outlet. Okay, a lot of people uh, miss that. All right, and then you do have a little bit of space. These things do come out in the uh, door panel on each side. And then that is your uh, passenger space over there. You get your red roof flare hanging out. And this is the space I have uh, for my leg room. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Uh, I am a little bit extended here, so I've definitely slide this up a little bit, be a little more comfortable driving. Uh, let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see. I can see a sliver of the hood, but not much. Okay. Now normally this time I show you the auction sheet showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Keep that in mind please, non-accident vehicle from mainland. Uh, a lot of uh, dealers can't say that, we can, okay? Uh, but because it just came in, I keep those inside until it's been detailed. Once it's been detailed, it's going to go up here on the uh, driver's side sun visor so you see for yourself, okay? So before we go to the back seat, let's uh, just show you a couple other things. You have your, uh, your, door, uh, your door locks and your uh, window controls right on the door panel here. Um, your... Where is it? There it is. You got your hood release down here as well. All right, am I forgetting something? Oh, this little guy right here, that's your ETC reader. It's an electronic toll collector. This thing works like Easy Pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway here, okay? So I'm gonna turn this off. Let's go to the back seat. Let's jump on in. All right, so with the seat all the way back, all the way down, remember, I said I, I'm gonna slide this up a, a little bit uh, for me to be a little more comfortable. Uh, I'm a good two and a half inches away from the back seat to my knees. Each seat back does have the pocket storage. As always, be careful. It doesn't have a lot of gears, so you don't want to rip it, all right? And then a little bit of storage on each door panel. And then you do have uh, cup holders all the way down here that don't want to seem to come out. All right, all right. 
They're there, but it's just not coming out. So we'll, we'll get that fixed. And then it does have an armrest that uh, is not level, which I, which I always like, but this one's not level, okay? Let's go to the back here. We'll uh, show you the uh, trunk space. Oh, and I did forget. I'm gonna have to show you. Uh, it does have this um, uh, privacy shade, which you can take out if you need the extra space. And these seats do fold forward by uh, pulling this lever, so hopefully, ah, the seatbelt got caught. There you go. All right. So hopefully you can see all that space if you have the seats down. So I'm just gonna show you real quick. It does have the vents on each uh, column that's gonna help cool down the car a lot quicker. All right. So let's show you the engine compartment, then we're gonna wrap this video up. Here you have it. And this is a, a 2.5 liter uh, engine, which will be cleaned during the detailing process. And there you have it, 2007 Nissan Murano. Almost 88,000 kilometers on, which is about 55,000 miles. Military price was down to 5,900. With additional military discount, we'll get it down to 5,700. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts, and you will get a lower price, okay? Uh, but for now, the 5,700 is gonna include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper to bumper full warranty, 2022 road tax and a 10% sales tax is already included. The only thing on top is gonna be the American insurance requirement, whether you go on liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Uh, just touching on the warranty real quick. Yes, there are places with two-year warranties. They're not the best thing since sliced bread, so stop on by, we'll explain why, okay? Uh, but don't forget, two ways to pay for it, US dollars cash out rate, or take advantage of zero percent finance for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. So thank you very much for watching, take care, hope to see you soon.